Welcome to the Affluent Sales Minute. The other day I was talking to an advisor who was just moaning and moaning about how do you differentiate yourself? I mean, everybody's got the same wealth management process. And if you're a wirehouse, you got the wirehouse spin. If you're an independent, you have the independent spin. And if you're an RIA, you have the RIA spin. And advisors are good at spinning. Well, uh, you know, she, do you have any words of wisdom was basically the question. And I chuckled because here I am, you're talking about, you know, a very cynical financial advisor, you know, a little bit of truth to what this advisor was saying, you know, but targeting a very cynical, skeptical, you know, affluent market. And I chuckled and I said, you know, service is the new sales. And, and with a perplexed look, uh, I started sharing some of our data with a series of questions. I said, who do you think rates excellence more, Costco or financial advisors when it comes to service? There's like a perplexed pause and then Costco? That's right, Costco. You know, how about between Amazon and financial advisors? There is no pause, Amazon? And I said, what percentage of today's affluent rate their financial advisor as excellent when it comes to service? No response. It was 20%. Well, Costco is only 23%. Amazon was 47%. The reality is, is that the affluent are not getting good service. They're not getting excellent service, and they demand excellent service. They, it is essential. It's a hygiene factor for them. So, here are four components to excellent service, turning service into your new marketing campaign. First, your in-office service has to be spectacular, has to be both professional and personal. You need to pay attention to all details. Secondly, you need to do the wowing of your affluent clients outside of the office. Little surprise delight touches, little personal touches that are timely and personal, whether it's a little gift, a little article, something personal to them. Thirdly, you need to get their honest feedback of what you're doing well, what you could be improving upon. And this has to be personal and it has to be conversational. You can't rely on your firm's client satisfaction surveys because the only, you know, only clients are going to say something bad are the ones who are ranting. And your other clients, ah, they're not going to really want to get you in trouble. And these surveys are, to them, kind of an annoyance anyway. And, and, and don't make the mistake of saying, well, things are going pretty well. I just don't want to stir the spot, uh, the pot. That's an excuse advisors make for not soliciting feedback. Soliciting honest feedback strengthens your loyalty. It increases every aspect of what you're doing and it impacts the quality of everything you do because they're going to tell you what you're doing well, they're going to tell you what you can improve, and you better start improving that. And they're going to tell you maybe other services they're considering. And then the fourth component is socializing. Socializing with your clients is everything. It changes the context of the entire relationship. They trust you more. You're rated higher in every aspect uh, of the services you pro provide, including your service. And it helps transform your service into the new sales. So the words of wisdom, service is the new sales. Bye for now.